So you just got your first ever camera for your Christmas or for your birthday and you're wanting to hit the ground running and get the best image possible out of it and strive to hit those sort of mentors that you've seen on YouTube or Instagram, the likes of Peter McKinnon, Matty Hipoya for cinematography. If that is the case, then this video is the one for you. And first and foremost, we will be going through the first of the three main pillars of photography and videography, that being ISO. In very basic terms, ISO is simply put the sensitivity of the sensor of your digital camera to light. This harks back to the analog days, whereby it was the film strip that you were putting in your camera that determined how sensitive the image was going to be in the darker environments. Keeping it very simple and straightforward, the lower the ISO number, the brighter your environment, the higher the ISO number, the darker your environment is. Bringing this into the digital era, it does much the same thing. However, there is one small caveat with that. As with all cameras, analog or digital, you will get noise in your image. Digital noise is a beast of its own. It's slightly more jumbled mess rather than uniform film grain that you're used to seeing in cinema. If you were to crank the ISO, the likes of on this EOS R, to the maximum of 12,800, you would be in the shadows getting a lot of crunchy sort of digital noise and in heavy textured garments like the one behind me or the clothes of the person that the camera is focused on, you'll get that crunchy noise. You will see this in the example that's up on screen now. The major downside to shooting at these higher ISO numbers is that when you take the photo into post or your video into post-production, it breaks down a lot more readily. The shadows, you can't lift as much because you'll expose that noise and you can't really play around with the image as much as well as it tends to give it that slight hazy look towards the edges because of the amount of noise in the image. You will find that many digital cameras do have a sweet spot. Personally, I find on the EOS R that the sweet spot is in the range of four to 800 for general lighting situations. If you don't have a secondary light source or if you are shooting in sort of natural light within a room. It is a general rule of thumb that if you are in a high light environment and you can afford it with secondary lights to bring the brightness up of that environment, then always shoot at the lowest ISO on your camera possible as this will give you the best image. After this, you go on to the other pillars of videography and photography. I will be covering shutter speed in the next video. If this is something that is of interest to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about ISO, leave them down in the comments and I will get back to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Craig, if you don't know, by the way, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.